This is a really quick video to show you what your washing machine simulation is supposed to do. So over on the left hand side, you can see my user interface here. And on the right hand side, you can actually see the circuit. So let me introduce you to my spaghetti wire circuit here. I've got a start button here and an interrupt button here. Over here is the red LED that tells you when the washing machine is on. Right beside it is the LED for the pump. So that comes on whenever it's filling up or draining. Over here is a two-way LED, and that comes on whenever the drum is in motion. So during the agitate cycle, for example, you'll see this blink green and then blink red, and then it'll switch back again. During the final spin cycle, you'll see it blink faster, only in red. During the simulation, the LCD will display messages telling you what's going on. So for example, when it's filling up, it'll tell you that it's filling up and what the water temperature is. On the final spin, it'll give a countdown saying how much longer you've got for the spin cycle. So now let's see how the user interface works. So right now it says which wash do you want, normal, permanent, or delicate. So I have to type in one of these three letters. What happens if I type in the wrong one, like a Q? Well, it tells me invalid choice. Please try again. So I'm going to type in an N for normal. And it tells me normal wash was chosen. Which water temperature do you want? So I'll type in W for warm. Warm water chosen. Which cycle do you want? So there's the wash cycle, the rinse cycle, and the spin cycle. Now the wash cycle is actually going to step through all three of these. It'll do a wash, then a rinse, then a spin. The rinse cycle would just do rinse and spin, and the spin cycle does just spin. So I'll go with wash. So that's an A. And now not much happens because I have to press the start button. So I'll press the start button now. And you see it start to fill with warm water. And now it's going to agitate. And by the way, the camera frame rate makes it look like this is not blinking at a steady rate. It actually is. And you see it blink green and red. Also notice that when the pump comes on, this light comes on. So that happens when it's draining or when it's filling. And we're now into the rinse cycle, and you see it agitating again. And by the way, over here, we've got an interrupt button. So if I push the interrupt button, it's actually going to pause things. And I'll have the option of either pressing the start button to start it up again, or I can reset things. So let me push the interrupt button now. And I didn't personally code things so that this stops. You could do that. But you can see down here that my countdown did stop. So by pressing the interrupt button, I've interrupted the whole circuit. And I can press start, and the countdown just starts up again. And I'll press that a second time. So pressing the interrupt button just freezes everything. And if you look at my user interface, you'll notice that it is giving me the option to actually change my settings and restart the washer. So I'll do that this time. It says click Y if you want to change the settings. So I'll click Y, and everything here just shuts down. It's now off again and I can choose new settings. So I can choose D for delicate cycle, and let's give it hot water this time, H, and this time I'll use the rinse cycle. So I'll click R. And as before, not much happens because now I need to click the start button. So I click start, and now you can see I've started on the rinse cycle. And as before, I can interrupt this at any point and either restart it, or after interrupting it, I can click Y and it'll shut the machine down and allow me to choose new settings.